Now we can summarize our discussion related to cutting of DNA molecules. We have the idea that microorganisms can protect themselves from the invasion of foreign DNA that may be uh, from any other microorganisms or virus particles. So, when there is foreign DNA in a microbe, ke andar enter hota hai, to the host ka restriction system is attack and degrade. Kar deta hai. So, in this way, microorganisms they can protect themselves. We also have the idea that restriction enzymes, they may be a variety of type. But in all the enzymes, uh, they are not useful uh, in the process of gene manipulation. What is the reason? The reason is that the most restriction enzymes are DNA ko randomly break. Karte hai. They can cut the DNA more randomly. But another category which is uh, very well known and it is type 2 restriction enzymes that are valuable in the process of gene manipulation and they are mostly used to create artificially recombinant DNA molecule. So we are also aware that type 2 restriction enzymes when they cut DNA fragments so different type of uh, fragments they are produced. Now these fragments they may have different type of ends like some DNA they have blunt ends for example if DNA it is digested with He3 restriction enzyme the DNA fragments that are produced they are having blunt ends. Blunt end means that there are no unpaired bases at the end of DNA. So both fragments of DNA they have equal length. On the other hand, some fragments of uh, DNA after digestion with restriction enzymes they will have sticky or cohesive ends. I think you are well aware that uh, uh, some fragments they have 5 prime or 3 prime unpaired bases so that are complementary with other DNA uh, unpaired bases so that's why they are called as cohesive or sticky ends because at 5 prime or 3 prime ends the overhang or protruding of a few base pairs are present that are complementary with other DNAs if they are digested with same restriction enzymes now these single stranded overhangs as I told you that it may be present at 5 prime if DNA it is digested with EQR1, BAMH1 or even HIND3 and in some cases if the DNA it is digested with P PST1 these overhangs are sticky ends they are present at 3 prime ends. So the DNA having blunt end or sticky end depending that which restriction enzyme has been used to digest the DNA. Then you are also well aware with the nomenclature of restriction enzyme that uh, generic name, first letter and two letter of the specific epithet they are used to name the enzymes. Then it is also important that which strain it is there and what is the number of restriction enzyme that has been isolated because the same strain may produce different type of uh, restriction enzyme so the enzyme may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I quoted the example of hint 1, 2, 3 and so on. Now when DNA it is digested with type 2 restriction enzyme the DNA fragments they may be of different lengths. It will depend that what is the length of a recognition sequence, how many bases are present, either they are the four bases, six bases or the recognition sites may be composed of eight bases. So if the recognition sequence they are having more bases 
the DNA fragments that will be produced, they will be, they are having more length as compared to those having low number of nucleotide bases like 4 as compared to 8. It also depends that how much time it is given for the digestion of the source DNA. If more time is given, so enzyme will get more time to digest the DNA, so the length of fragments it will be less. But if partial digestion is there, partial mean that uh, the less time is given, so the restriction enzyme will not get enough time to, to attack the source DNA. So the length of fragments that will be produced it will be high. So it is called as partial digestion and of course the frequency of particular recognition sequence it is also very important. So restriction enzymes they are very important in the process of gene manipulation.